Hey everyone, I just read LA Confidential by James Elroy, and it was a lot. Hats off to the filmmakers who adapted this overgrown garden of a story into a movie, because this was a real struggle at points. It's a book about three policemen from Los Angeles who can't stand each other, and who find themselves caught in the swell of a shocking spree shooting that haunts them throughout the course of the 1950s. The pros? The leads were, by far, the easiest to cheer for out of all of Elroy's LA Quartet stories so far. They are still deep flawed people who have done, and in the course of the novel do, some awful things. But they are ultimately trying to do good in a harsh world, and they lack a lot of the more instantly off-putting traits of previous protagonists too. I love the scale of this book, how it starts at the beginning of the 1950s and concludes toward the end of the decade. You feel the characters change and grow over all that time, just as you feel Los Angeles change and grow too. And yet for how much is packed into this story, absolutely none of it ends up feeling superfluous. Every sentence in every scene has its importance made clear by the final page. And this book feels like the culmination of everything Elroy has done across the previous two entries, in terms of plot, in terms of character, in terms of setting, in terms of tone, in terms of prose, in terms of pacing. The few teething problems Black Dahlia and Big Nowhere had are nowhere to be found here. It is better content, and there is more of it in every way. The cons? Ironically though, I do feel like it kind of buckles under its own weight in certain ways. If you've read The Big Nowhere or seen the film adaptation, you already know where the book is going. In fact, the prologue pretty much gives the game away, so then you, as the reader, are left with the answers within the first ten pages, and it can be frustrating to go through several hundred more, waiting for the protagonists to catch up. It also doesn't really help that the mystery is just a bit too convoluted and self-assured of its own cleverness for its own good. There are so many elements across so many plot threads and so much time that it's just hard to keep track of at certain points. And to cap off this complaint, it's just not as immediately attention-grabbing like the crimes of the previous books. I know, I ate my words on that one, didn't I? And this book is written in a very sharp, staccato style of short sentences. Any word that wasn't necessary clearly got the chop in the edit, and personally, I loved it, but it's definitely not an easy read. It takes effort to sync up to that rhythm of writing, and so, it's a con. This is an unruly beast of a novel. It is simultaneously the best of the LA Quartet thus far, and also also the least interesting. In some ways, I think the movie did a better job of reining in all its disparate plot threads and third act twists, but I can't deny that in terms of technical construction, this book is incredible. If you're a fan of the kind of hard-boiled detective fiction Elroy is known for, you kind of owe it to yourself to give it a read if you haven't already. There is a little context required from the previous two entries, but it's not a huge thing. The plot is largely self-contained. However, if those two books didn't grab you, then this one probably won't either. But between the book and the movie there exists the perfect version of this story, but since I'm only reviewing the novel, I'm giving LA Confidential an A. What did you think of the book? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're there, why not leave a suggestion for what I should read next? I promise I'll get to it eventually. If you liked the review and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and share the video around. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.